in this video, magbibigay ako ng isang strategy na madalas ginagamit sa pagkuha ng limit. So, for example, hanapin natin yung limit ng x cube minus 1 all over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So, kung gagamitan natin to ng direct substitution since ito ay rational function, so, itry natin by direct substitution. So, we have 1 cube minus 1 over 1 minus 1. And as you can see, ang lalabas ay 0 over 0. So, kapag ang lumabas ay 0 over 0, ibig sabihin niyan, ito ay tinatawag na indeterminate form. Or, isulat na lang natin siya as IF. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin kapag indeterminate form, hindi natin masabi kung ang limit nito ay nag -e exist o hindi. Kung sakaling nag -e exist man, hindi natin uh, masabi kung ano ba yung limit niya. Okay? By using direct substitution. So, kaya ang gagawin natin kapag indeterminate form ang lumabas, gagawa tayo ng ibang strategy kung paano natin makukuha yung limit ng given function. Okay? So, yun yung strategy na i-discuss natin ngayon. Okay? So, hindi tayo magda-direct substitution since ang lumabas ay indeterminate form. So, ulitin natin. Limit of x cubed minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So, ang gagawin natin dito, if a factor muna natin itong x cubed minus 1. So, sa algebra yan, so we have limit as x approaches 1 ng, ano yung factor na ito? That is x minus 1, then x squared plus x plus 1. So, kung maaalala nyo sa algebra, all over x minus 1. And as you can see, meron tayong x minus 1 sa numerator, meron tayong x minus 1 sa denominator. So, pwede nating i-cancel yan. Okay? Kung sa pagkuha ng value ng function, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-cancel ng katulad nito, kapag limit ang pinag-uusapan, pwede nating gawin yan. Okay? So, ang matitira na lang dyan ay limit of x squared plus x plus 1 as x approaches 1. Okay? So, dito... Pwede na nating i-apply yung direct substitution kasi polynomial naman to. So, we have 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. And that is 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. So, ito yung limit. Okay? So, yung strategy na ginawa natin kanina, ang tawag dito ay dividing out technique. Kung baga, if a factor muna natin, it's either numerator o kaya yung denominator o kaya yung both. Tapos hahanapin natin yung common factor kung meron. Kung meron man, ikakancel natin. And then yung lalabas, dun natin i-apply yung limit. Okay? So let's have another example. For number 2, limit of x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared minus 4 as x approaches so, since rational to, pwede mong i-testing muna kung pwedeng direct substitution. So, try muna natin ng direct substitution. We have 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 6 all over 2 squared minus 4. So, sa denominator, kitang-kita na kagad na 0 yan. So, try natin sa numerator. We have 4 minus 5 times 2, that is 10, plus 6 all over 4 minus 4. And as you can see, this is 0 over 0 and that is indeterminate form. So, ibig sabihin, iisip ulit tayo ng ibang paraan. Yung paraan na gagawin natin, itatry ulit natin yung kaninang strategy. So, ulitin natin. Limit of x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared minus 4 as x approaches 2. So, ipa-factor natin yung numerator at yung denominator. So, for numerator... Sa algebra uli yan, mag-iisip tayo ng product na positive 6, tsaka yung sum ay negative 5. Two numbers, product ay 6, tapos sum ay negative 5. And that is negative 3 and negative 2. No? So, x minus 3 times quantity x minus 2. So, negative 3 times negative 2, that is positive 6. Negative 3 minus 2, negative 5. Okay? 
Then, ito, difference of 2 squares, magiging x minus, uh, x plus 2, x minus 2. So, as you can see, makakancel natin to By the way, nakalimutan ko yung limit as x approaches 2. Okay, so meron pala nyan ha. Nalimutan ko ilagay. Then, ikakancel natin tong x minus 2. Ang matitira na lang ay limit of x minus 3 over x plus 2 as x approaches 2. Then, saka mo i-substitute yung 2. So, magiging 2 minus 3 over 2 plus 2 and that is negative 1 over 4. Okay, so ganyan lang kasimple. For number 3, limit of x squared plus x minus 6 all over x plus 3 as x approaches negative 3. So, itry ulit natin yung direct substitution. We have negative 3 quantity squared plus negative 3 minus 6 all over negative 3 plus 3. And that is what is negative 3 quantity squared positive 9 minus 3 minus 6 over negative 3 plus 3 and as you can see this is 0 over 0 in determinate form so ulitin natin limit of x squared plus x minus 6 all over x plus 3 as x approaches negative 3 yung factor natin to isip tayo ng dalawang numbers ulit na ang product ay negative 6 ang sum ay positive 1 and that is ano kaya negative uh, positive 3 negative 1 no so x plus 3 tapos ah, x minus 2 no positive 3 negative 2 so 3 times negative 2 negative 6 3 minus 2 positive 1 okay all over x plus 3 nakalimutan ko na naman ilagay yung limit as x approaches negative 3 okay so makakancel natin to so madali na mag-isip ng factor na ito kasi meron tayong guide no so, this is equal to technique yun so, dito, i-substitute na natin kasi ang matitira dito ay limit as x approaches negative 3 ng x minus 2. So, substitute na natin yung negative 3, magiging negative 3 minus 2 and that is negative 5. Okay? So, ganyan lang kasimple, hanapin yung limit using our strategy dividing out technique.